What's up, everybody? This is Blair Halver. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Transactional Real Estate Podcast. If you want to learn more about how to become a transactional real estate engineer, in other words, uh, bringing, uh, creating win-win deals out of thin air uh, with motivated sellers, whether they got enough equity for a cash deal or not, we're looking at cash terms, everything in between, and literally have doubled our conversion rate just by taking the blinders off from wholesale and rehab over into lease options, wrap mortgages, seller financing, everything else. And so I think you're going to get a lot out of that. And if you want to learn more, please check out our free webinar at BlairHalver.com. That's B-L-A-I-R-H-A-L-V as in Victor, E-R.com. We'll put a link somewhere in the show notes. Uh, but check out the free webinar, which is called How to Consistently Do Five or More Deals a Month without wholesaling, without rehabbing, without chasing deals, and without working 80 hours a week. Sounds pretty good, right? All right, well, check that out later. Right now, enjoy this episode. We'll see you on the flip. All right, hey everybody, this is Blair Halver. I'm here with one of our clients, Carolina Como. Her husband, Craman, couldn't join us today, but uh, unfortunately, but we got Carolina here and she's the deal maker anyway in the family, is what it sounds like. So uh, <laughs> say hi, Carolina. Hello. All right, hi. so. Carolina just joined our program, uh, her and her husband, uh, gosh, just a month or two ago, it seems like. About, yes, about maybe, a month, we would say. Yeah, maybe just a month, a month. ago. Mm -hmm. or a just got, yeah, and you just got your first contract since joining. And yes. so we're going we're gonna to talk about that deal here in a minute. But I want to, uh, you know, just for the people watching this video, you know, it always helps them to see uh, where people are coming from when they get into this business. So what was your background, yours and your husband's? Have, had you guys been doing real estate before or, or what was that like? What, what have y'all been doing? Yes, actually we were in real estate for a while. Um, for you can say about 12 years, um, mm -hmm. we had rental properties. We had, um, we did flips, like a flip, uh, fix and flip. Mm -hmm. So we were doing it. And then we kind of like sold a lot of our properties. We got out of the game <laughs> and then now we're getting back in it. So, so how long ago did you get out of the game then? How long has it been? Ooh. Yeah, well, since when you sold all your stuff and you got out of the game. I would say about probably four years. Okay. And then what, so be before you sold off everything, like how many flips were you doing in a year, would you say? I would say maybe about, we had like, um, I would say because we had buy and hold too. So okay. I would say uh, we did mostly buy and hold. So we didn't okay. do that many flips. So okay. probably maybe about four. Four about total? Four, about four. Total. Okay. And then how many and then rent, uh, buy and hold did you have? Buy and hold. Hmm, it's been a while, Blair. Let's see. About. We had four. I think it's four or five rental properties. Okay. So just a handful of rentals and you did a handful of flips. Right. So it wasn't. Now that wasn't your primary source of income. Did you still no, have jobs at that time? It okay. was. It wasn't our primary source of income. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Okay. So All I've right. been. Yes, I work from home. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and my husband, his deal is truck driving. Okay. Yes. All so right. And so, so he's been doing that. He was doing yes. that back then. So right. that the real estate business that you had back then was sort of like a side business. Right. Yeah, right. Like it wasn't right. your main thing. It wasn't our main thing. Okay. Right. But okay. it was bringing in residual income, you know, sure. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what was that like for you? Like with the handful of rentals you had? I mean, was it good? Was it? Did it pay off well? Or, or I mean, it was good. The the money, the residual income was good. Yes. Um, we were able to do a lot with the, you know, with the residual income. Yeah. Um, but you know, the tenants and you see, I was managing the property. So we didn't ah. have, yes, we didn't have a property manager. Yeah. <laughs> so with that said, I mean, you know, that's a job. It's a job. <laughs> yeah. So I was the one managing all the properties, being okay. that I'm the stay-at-home mom. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, and, right. Freeman's driving on the road, so he can't do it. So it's Right, right, smooth, right, right. So I was yeah. doing the properties. Right, right. So, um, I mean, I, if I, I mean, like, doing it again, going back into it again, I'll have a property manager. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So about, about four years ago, you, you sold all your properties. Yes. What made you want to get out of the game? What was that? Being a landlord and managing the properties. And really back then, like today is something like we're seeing something totally different back then. 
we thought we had to invest in real estate by using our credit, by mm -hmm. having a truckload of money. We didn't have a clue that we could have purchased real estate without, you know, having a truckload of money and using yeah. your credit. So this is this right here. When we seen this, we was like, what? Where, where was this information back then? <laughs> and I'm sure they had it, but we just didn't stumble across it. You know, so knowing that we can do that now, it's like, wait, we already know, you know, how to do it. Not really not how to do um, the owner finance and these purchases because we haven't, um, I mean, this is new to us. This is pretty houses and all of this. This is new to us, but we still familiar with investing, you know? So it's like, man, this is, we want to do this. Yeah. I mean, this is a no, this is, this is, I don't know. <laughs> to say it. it's just exciting just thinking about it yeah you know, yeah we well that's really good excited. well that's mm -hmm. good well so tell me so okay four years ago you got out of the business you weren't doing any real estate and what made you what made you decide hey we should get back into doing this the fact that we don't have to use our credit the fact okay. that we don't have to go through a bank the fact that we don't have to have so much money to do it mm -hmm. that's it yeah that's well, so how, how did you guys find me then? How did you find our program? Well, yeah, we found you by listening to Ron LeGrand. Okay. Yes, because we're All some right. Ron LeGrand fans. And that's yeah. how we actually found out about the pretty houses and everything. And then he did an interview with you, and I was listening to his podcast. Yeah. And I said, hold on. I'm like, let me, I said, hold on. And I, I let my husband listen to this. I said, babe, I said, I call him babe. <laughs> So I said, babe, I said, I have something for you to listen to because we were already wanting to do the pretty house business and everything. But yours was a little different. I like Ron LeGrand, but yours was a little different because it was more like, um, you know, like about the, the marketing aspect of it. Um, how, how can I say that? The marketing aspect, uh, you know, a lot about the Internet. You know, like the new age. That's what I'm trying to say. The new age stuff. So when we seen that, we was like, because we already was feeling like that. If we can just put the new age with Ron LeGrand. I like Ron, but I'm just saying. Yeah. And then when we seen you, it was like, well, this is what we were looking for. So I let my husband listen to it. And he was like, "This we going with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat. Yeah. Right off the bat. He was like, we're going with him. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Okay. So you heard me on Ron's podcast and we got on the phone together and I, you yeah. probably talked to uh, my partner, Jeff. Jeff. Oh, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. it was Jeff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what made you decide to join our program then? Like after you talked to Jeff, you're like, this is it. What made you say, all right, we're in? Well, actually before Jeff, we were thinking about joining another program and it was a wholesaling program. But one thing we didn't want to do is specialize in just wholesaling. We didn't want to just do wholesaling because we want to have, we wanted to also buy and hold and have residual income because we know about residual income. We've done it before and we know the power of that, you know? So we, we like, we wanted that. So we like just wholesaling. I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing wrong if you have a deal that come in and you're wholesaling that deal. But um, after that money's gone, then that's it. <laughs> you know, you, you spend it, then that's it. And it's, it's really a, another job and another hustle. So we actually are at the point where we want to be financially free and we want to have that residual income coming in. So being that you guys were able to present it as, you know, you will be able to get that residual income and the pretty house business, which is what we wanted to do. Plus being that transaction engineer, being able to, you know, like whatever deal comes your way, being able to say, look, I can do this you know come up come up with something to help the seller you know that's what we and that's what made us say yes we want to do this this is this is what we want yeah yes okay. so you decided to join mm -hmm. what was your first impression once you got into the program you were, we got you enrolled what was your first impression of the whole thing the whole program what was that like <sighs> I thought it was, I thought it was amazing. I mean, how you, I love how, you know, you can put a question in there. Um, the question is answered like right away. It doesn't take too long, you know, for the question to be answered. Anything that you need to know about, you know, 
like you'll come in and answer or you need, you know even the people in the group those who are more experienced they come in and answer to help you out it's very you know a lot of people are helpful so we like that um the system is amazing the system is amazing i mean after on first you know getting it getting it started you know it's a process but after you get it started it, it's amazing you're like oh my goodness because when you just see the little zapper and the thing pop up on your phone and the call room and when it all pops up and it's like man you know and you, you get the lead and you just make the call or you have your va make the call it's it's just so much easier it's so much easier so Good. yeah we love it Good. now you guys recently got your your first contract since joining the program so and i know we were just talking about that before we turned on the recorder here and we were just talking, I mean, you were just saying about how you want to get into pretty houses. And out here, this first deal happens to be a wholesale deal. Right. Let, let's hear about that, though. Let's right. hear about your deal. How, where did the lead come from? What was that process like? And then and, and tell us about that. Okay. The lead came from uh, a bandit sign. Actually, no, we have bandit signs. Uh, this lead came from the newspaper, a newspaper ad. So you we put an a, ad out in the paper? We put an ad in the paper. Okay. What did the ad lady, say? Um, Raymond put the ad in the paper, Blair. So I can't, <laughs> I don't okay. even know. Sometimes right. he just go out and do his thing and, and yeah. he put it out and I'm just here collecting calls. And, but yeah. he put an ad in the paper. Um, I don't remember. I wish I could say it. I That's don't, fine. I don't remember what it said. I bet it says uh, cream and buys houses, cash. Probably so hours. because I know a lot of, our, <laughs> a lot of our signs say that. Yeah. Um, like we buy houses cash yeah. so I think it was something in that terms like we, we buy houses cash in any condition yeah. if I'm not mistaken I think it was something like that and the lady called and she left um, she spoke with Carl of course and then mm -hmm. I went back and I listened to it and I could hear that she was motivated because at that time when she called Carl Carl put her on hold for a little while and I was like no because they they needed to find the script or something happened and i was like no don't put all on hold because you know some people would hang up but this lady didn't hang up and i was like she stayed on there i said she she must be motivated to sell so um you know she gave her information and everything and then i gave her a call and you know she was telling me about the house and she was telling me um it needs a little work <laughs> she said it needs a little work and um that she wanted 25 so i asked her on the phone i did the you know um if if i paid you all cash and we can close whenever you want was the least you would take so she was like oh. she thought about it she got quiet and then she was like well i'm not sure she said right now i want 25 she said because it's in a decent area so, you know, if you see the area, she said, I, you know, I, I would really like 25. She said, but, you know, you never know. How about you just come and take a look at it <laughs> and you tell me what you think? <laughs> so I was like, well, OK. So um, I told her I wanted to look at, you know, go online and take a look at some of the, the information about the property. And then when I did, I looked around the neighborhood and I was like, oh, hey, this is a pretty good neighborhood. And um, it was a big house. It was pretty big it looked nice on the outside so i called her back and then i asked her you know to go and view the property i end up going to view the property the very next day i'm like i'm not gonna wait too long because one thing i know if you wait too long somebody else comes on <laughs> That's so right. i said yep yeah. so i went um i went to view the property and <laughs> it it needed some work <laughs> It was a fixer upper, right? <laughs> but I mean, um, when I walked in, you know, she showed me around and everything. And um, after we walked around, I mean, I built rapport with her. And, you know, she was just telling me a lot about her family. She talked to me. I mean, I actually stayed three hours with her that day. Yes, what? three hours. Because she was- You didn't talking. tell me that. Yes, I know, <laughs> I know. It was Oh, true, gosh. I know, cause look, when I told when when I left and I called Cream, he was like three hours. He was like, you would want to walk away with a deal for three hours. I'm like, yeah, but she was so sweet and she was just talking up a storm. And then she was like, 
well, I want to leave. She was like, because um, they didn't have anywhere for us to do the, the contract. So she was like, come to you. Like, I live right there on the street. And I want you to come to my house. We'll hurry up and do the contract. Blah, blah, blah. And then I come to find out when she was telling me um, about some of her family, I knew some of the family. Oh, so, yes. Okay. All right, I that's cool. That neither, so. Yeah, I know. That's good. Yeah, so I knew some of her family. So she was like, you know, so that's why it took so long. <laughs> yeah. We were talking and, um, so we were trying, I looked around the property and then I, I jumped the gun. <laughs> I'm just noticing I jumped the gun when I was telling you about it, but I was walking around the property. And then at, after we finished, that's when um, she was like, so what do you think, Caroline? And I was like, what do I think? I said, I wasn't expecting <laughs> when I came, I wasn't expecting this much work. You know, I just was honest with her. You know, I said I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting for it to be this much work. So she knew what that meant. <laughs> we got to go down. So um, she was like, I know it does need work. I know. So she was like, well, how much, how much more would you go down? Give me a number. So um i didn't want to do that i wanted her to give me enough i wanted it to come yes. from her because i remember you, you talked about that's right so i said i'm not gonna shoot any numbers so i was like well i tell you what i said um what do you think so that's when she said oh, 18 20 I looked at her, I was like, ooh, I said, you close. I said, you close. <laughs> That's a good line. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I like I that. I said, you close. I said, you so close. And I said her name, and she was. She started laughing. So we were both laughing. I said, just, what, 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 else, what, what else could you do? What, what's, what's the best? What's the best you can do? So she's like, well, I don't know. She said, you know, I had two. She started talking. So she was like, I had two people come in already and two people offered me 20000 That's what she said. She said, two people offered me 20000 So I'm, you know. So she was like, and then I had some come in and offered me, she was like 12 and 14. And I was like, I don't want to just give my house away. This is a family home, you know. So she was like, I don't, I don't know. She said, I, I would love, she said, I am tired of it and I do want to get it off, you know, get it off of my hands. She's thought about it hard, she thought about it hard. She's like, oh, I mean, 16, I probably could do 16. So when she says 16 in my head, I'm like, 16, you know? Yeah. So, right, so she's like, I probably could do 16. I was like, okay, 16. I'm, I was still trying to get her to go. <laughs> I said, it's a lot of work. She's like, I know, but it's a family house and I don't I don't want to just give it away. So I said, okay. I said, 60. We'll do 60. And then awesome. that's how it happened. <laughs> that's perfect. And she was happy. She was very yes. happy. Yeah. She was very happy. She was like, you do it? Okay. You know, yeah. I was so excited. Was now, if you had said 16, and she was at 25 and you had offered 16. What do you think would have happened? I think she would have probably thought I was trying to get the house, like the other one, steal it from her for little or nothing. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. I believe. Yeah. Being that so, she said it, it was like, okay, I'm giving you what you said. Yeah. You know? It's got to be <laughs> so, their idea. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So you locked it up at 16, all cash. No terms on this one. Did you ask her about terms on the phone beforehand? No, I didn't ask her about terms. Okay. The reason why I didn't ask her about terms because of the price and mm -hmm. because she was saying it needed some work. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to offer, because the other deal, you remember the other deal I told you about before, because um, with, with the house, uh, it was 2,000 and something square feet, and the girl wanted terms. She was willing to give the terms. But it would have cost us a lot of money to bring the, mm -hmm. you know, to fix up the property. So I learned from that deal. Like those type of deals need to be a wholesale deal. <laughs> yeah. Like when it's going to cost us too much to repair it, you know, look at mm -hmm. it more like a wholesale deal. So this one in this situation, being that I knew it needed some repairs, I wanted to see it, you know, wanted to see the house. I didn't want to offer terms. Yeah. If 
it would cost us too much to fix. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, I mean, even if the house needs a lot of work, if you can get it with terms, it still works. I still would be okay. Yeah, okay. and it's and it actually gives you uh, an extra exit strategy because if you can buy it on terms, now you can sell it on terms as well. So, okay, okay, so okay. you might consider going back to the seller. Now, right now, you and her have agreed to 16000 all cash. And if she's right. happy with that, I think you're happy with that too because we were talking earlier, you, you're going to put this out for 30000 to another right. investor. Just right. the wholesale deal, regular wholesale deal. So you got a $14,000 spread in there, which is great. Um, sure. but you know, if you want to, you could go back to the seller and say, Hey, you know, I didn't even ask you about this. What if I could pay you a higher price for the property? If you just give me a little time to pay you off in full and just see what she says. Now, the only thing when I was going over the contract with her, mm -hmm. you know how some parts in the contract, it, it talks about, um, paying a monthly payment. Mm -hmm. So she did ask me, what does this mean? Mm -hmm. And then I did break it down a little bit about the owner finance, but I was telling her in this, in this situation, it doesn't apply, but we do owner mm -hmm. financing. And then I explained it. She's like, no, no. Okay. She's like, okay. Yeah. Right. Yep. So she, she wants like, all no, cash. No, I want cash. She said, all I right. just want my money right now. Yeah. Okay. So, good. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well then I, I, th I think you're locked in. Good. I okay. mean, even at 16, that's a great price. I think, cause we were looking at the ARV earlier. What did we say it was 60 or 70? We said 70. 70, yeah. Yeah, 70. So I think you're good at 16. And, you know, I don't think you're an expert in uh, estimating repairs, but you're probably close. And I think you were saying 25 to 30. 25 repairs. to 30. Yeah. Right. So, but I wouldn't even tell, I wouldn't even put the, the ARV. As, I don't, you know, like your buyer, your investor buyer, he doesn't care what you think the ARV is. He doesn't care what you are telling him it is. He doesn't care what you think the repair estimate is. because He doesn't right. trust you. He's going to go out there and look at the house himself. Right. And what, what looks like 30,000 in repairs to you may only look like 10 to 15 to somebody who's going to do all the work himself. Right. You know what right. I mean? Not so that I know we were talking about that earlier. Right, right. I was yeah. saying that part we know about the business that we know you can cut corners and you can make the house look good and it can come in at a cheaper price. Yeah. But again, it just depends on the buyer. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. What they come yeah. With. yeah. And mm -hmm. what they are planning to do with it. You know, some guys, right. they'll just fix it up just enough to turn it into a rental and they'll just hold it. Right. Right. So it doesn't have to be in tip top shape for them. Right. 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 Well, Okay, so your plan with the property is just put it out as a wholesale deal, thirty thousand. Yes. For twenty nine nine, right? And so you got a little wiggle room in there. So right. if you, even if you had to come down five grand or four or five grand, you're still going to clear about ten grand on the deal. Does that sound right? You can do that. Yes. Yeah, you'd be yeah. happy with that. Yes, <laughs> we can be happy with that. All right. Yes. Now let me let me ask you this: Do you guys have the ability to just buy the property? All cash yourself? Oh, not at this well. And the reason I ask mm -hmm. is because if you can buy a property at sixteen thousand and sell it on terms now, so you pay off the seller sixteen grand cash, and you can use a private money lender or use your own money or whatever. Okay. Uh, and then sell it on terms to somebody who wants to fix it up and hold it as a rental or flip it. Mm -hmm. Now you get a, a down payment from them. Let's say you sold it for 30 or 35 and you get five or 10 down from then. Okay. So think about this. You're out 16 on the property. You get 10 down from your buyers. Now you only got six grand left in it. Mm. Does that make sense? Six grand. And now, yes, and right. now you're going to get 500 bucks a month from your buyer and he can go rent it for a thousand bucks. So he's happy and he doesn't have to get a bank loan. So now you got 10 grand back plus 500 a month. I don't know. Just an idea. Never thought of that. <laughs> mm, yeah. There's so many ways to make deals. Yes. Yeah. So it just Why depends. Do you want to, you know, it depends on what you want to do. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, so if you want to sell it on terms, you got to be able to come up with that 16 grand cash to give to the seller. Right. It's not, it's not hard to do. You find a private money lender. Right. 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 And you can make that work. You can make those right. numbers work. I um, would have never thought of that. Yeah. Or if you guys have an IRA or anything like that, you can just take 16 grand and buy the property like that. 
Right. And now you've got 500 bucks a month coming in there into your IRA tax free. I don't know. Just an right. idea. <laughs> right. It's a good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Wow. Like I said, anyway. there's so many ways yeah. to make deals. Yeah. Cause I mean, I would have never thought of that. Yeah. So that's what, that's what Ron calls. That's what I call work for equity program. Right. Okay. I heard of the work for equity. Right. But I thought, I don't know why I thought that it couldn't have that much repairs for work for equity. So it can still have a lot of repairs. Are people living in it right now? No, but she said no, her son really. was living in it. Okay. So, I mean. But the, it was vacant. It's vacant though. It's been vacant for it, Okay. Minute. Well, if, if it's in a condition where somebody could move in and fix it up while they're living in it, that's usually ideal. But even still, even if it's not livable right now, you still got guys, you know, rehab guys, fix and flip guys who would love to buy it with seller financing. So they don't have to come out of pocket with all that. Wow. You see, I didn't know that they would do mm -hmm. that. The flip and flip. I mean, the uh, fix and flip guys. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Usually they'll pay all cash. And, you know, that's some some of them prefer that. But I mean, you'd be surprised. Like we were talking about earlier, you'd be surprised how you know, uh, how many fix and flip guys out there that this is like just a little hobby for them. And if they don't have to come up with 30 grand cash to give you, they only got to give you 10 mm -hmm. and then 500 bucks a month until they get it sold or cash flowing. That's, right. a, that's a big deal to them. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you, I, the good news is you got options. You have exit strategy options. Right. And that's good. Yeah. That's where you want to be. And if all else yeah. fails, you could, you guys could fix it up and flip it yourself if you really wanted to, but right, right, right. You know, I wouldn't personally. I'd rather just. Right. We tried not to go yeah. back there. We've yeah. done the fix and flip, so we yeah. know, you know, the amount of time yeah. it takes and all of that. But yeah, now if it were my deal, I'd put it out on terms. I'd find a private money lender, pay off the seller. Oh wow! That's what I would really? do because the longer you hold the property, the more money you're going to make on it. Mm. See what I mean? Right, right. So if you sell it with seller financing and he's paying you monthly, you're going to make more and more money on that. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. It makes okay. sense. <laughs> okay. Makes anyway, sense. just an option. Okay. Right. You know, talk right. it over with Kramen. Right. You know, see what you guys want to do. Let me know. Okay. Um, we'll do. Okay. So, but if nothing else, you got a $14,000 wholesale deal on your hands, which is great. Right. And just a month into working with me. Right. And, and now I'm trying to like open your eyes to this whole terms business. So right, right, you know, right, right. we'll see if you guys Blair, come around that. You rock. You <laughs> rock, Blair. Blair is you're amazing. Like every time I need help or anything, or if we need help or anything, all we have to do is just shoot him a message on Boxer or put it in the group. And he's right there. I mean, he, he's helping every step of the way. Yeah. So I truly appreciate that. Well, your success is our success. So yeah. I, I am fully invested into helping you guys be successful with this. So awesome. that's good. Well, tell me, what does the future look like with your real estate investing business now? It should look like my husband retiring from his truck driving job and yeah. being at home with the family while we have that. Uh, we were um, in the process of working on replacing his income with our rent with what property with residual income from the properties yeah. and from doing the pretty house deals and all of that so really that's what the future looks like that's what we're shooting for for him to finally be home with the family yeah that's great that's yes. great you know yeah. i'm just i'm just doing the math in my head here so if you put 16 grand out on that deal Let's say you get 10, 10 down from your buyer. Now you only got six grand in it. Let's say he's going to pay you 500 bucks a month. Within a year, you'll have all your money back out of it. Everything mm. else you have is gravy. Wow. Anyway, food for thought. You're going to consider that, Blair. <laughs> that was the last thing I was thinking. I didn't even think that far, you know, that deep. Yeah. But that, that's a great idea. Yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> Just an idea. Just an idea. <laughs> right, right, right. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Well, good. Well, tell me, what would you say to somebody who's watching this, who's considering joining this program? What would you want to say to them? What do you wish somebody had said to you to help you make the decision to join? Um, 
don't know. I would say um, just go for it. It's a real good program. Um, actually, when we first heard about it, like when we heard about it, it wasn't no, I wonder if we're going to do this. I wonder if we're going to do that. We knew we wanted to do it because I mean, if you, if you just listen to it, I mean, it's just, it's, it's clear that it's a good, it's a great idea and that you can, you know, have eventually start having residual income coming in less work because we want to do less work. <laughs> eventually we're looking to hire out. You know, right now we have the VA. Eventually, we want the acquisitioners and all of these things. But I mean, just the fact that you can get to that point of freedom is a plus. So, if you're looking for that, if you're looking to eventually be, you know, spend more time with your family or whatever it may be, do more vacationing or whatever, this right here will lead you there. It will lead you there because right now we have a VA. I mean, who would have thought that we would ever have a virtual assistant? Because I am the one that's always been the virtual assistant. <laughs> so, to, you know, now we have one. And eventually, like I said, we're going to be hiring the acquisition. And so if you want more freedom, this is definitely the program for you. So I would say take take the shot. We didn't we didn't have any second guessing, but I mean, sometimes it's like that where you don't you're not sure and you're just trying to figure out if it's the right thing for you. So if you do want more freedom or more financial freedom, this this is a good pro program for that. I would say. Awesome. Well, thank you for those kind words. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, very good. Well, anything else you wanted to add? <sighs> Ooh, I talked up a storm. That's all I can, that's all I can come out for now, but uh, I don't know, just, it's a great program. Give it a shot. And um, okay. we don't regret anything. We're very happy we did it. <laughs> and um, we just can't wait to see my husband home, which is coming soon. It's coming yeah. soon. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Well, yes. Good. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with me and with everybody watching. And uh, I, I'm just, I'm really excited. I mean, this first deal is just, it's just one out of many. You guys are going to have more and more and more. So I'm excited to see what the future holds for you guys and getting right. Kramen off the road and home. Right. And, you that know. way he'll be on the call with me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so on the next deal, we'll have you and him. Yes, yes, yes. All right. That'll be yes. good. All right. Well, thank you again, Carolina. And, You're and, uh, welcome. I'll, I'll see you in the Q&A calls and on Voxer and Facebook and everything else. So Sounds good, Blair. All right. Well, thank All you so right. much. We'll see you later. Okay. You're welcome. Goodbye. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got some golden nuggets out of that. As I said before, if you want to learn more about how you can get into this side of the business where we literally get paid like on a flip, every time we acquire a cash flowing rental property. It's like the best of both worlds, like a hybrid between flippers and buy and hold guys. We're here doing deals where we're getting the benefits of both. So if you want to learn more about that, check out our free webinar at BlairHalver.com, B-L-A-I-R-H-A-L-V like Victor, E-R, Dot com. You can check us out there. The webinar is called How to Consistently Do Five or More Deals a Month Without Wholesaling, Without Rehabbing, Without Chasing Deals, and Without uh, Working 80 Hours a Week. That's a long title. I had to remember that. Uh, also, my attorney wants me to tell you, I am an idiot. Do not listen to anything I say. You will not make any money doing anything I say. So don't listen to me. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're going to do with this information. All I'm trying to do is show you what I'm doing in my own business. Take it or leave it. Uh, and, you know, I am not an attorney. I am not an accountant. So anything that you might have heard on this, don't take that out as legal or accounting advice. Go consult your own professionals. I delegate all that stuff anyway. You definitely do not want to listen to me on that. All right. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe, you know, whatever you do on whatever platform you're, you're listening to this on. And uh, we'd appreciate it. And if you've got some value out of it, please share it with a friend. Sharing is caring. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.